All right, YouTube, before we get into the video, man, if you want to learn how to do the splat and get the splat, I will leave the link down in the description box below. It'll be the first link. Go watch it if you do not have the splat. This video is for people that want to get rid of the splat. Let's get right into it. What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, ID Point. We're back with another banger. And today I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of splat. I posted a video a while back and it blew up. It hit over 30,000 views. I was never expecting that. A whole bunch of people are asking me, how do you get rid of it? I don't like it. You lose the vibration. I never knew that. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that. But if you guys want to know how to get rid of the splat, this is the video for you. But before we get into that, look at the top left. We finally hit 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys very, very much. I appreciate all the love and support. So please make sure you guys like and comment on this video. It means a lot. All right. So let's get into this video, man. What you're going to want to do is, first of all, I'm on PlayStation 5. It's technically the same thing on PlayStation 4. I'm just going to close the game because I have Splat on right now. I have Splat. What you're going to want to do is go over to the settings. From the settings, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down into saved data and game app settings. All right, once you click that, I'm on the PS5, so uh, if you're on the PS5, you just gotta go down to the PS4. If you're on PS4, you don't have this option. From there, you're gonna to wanna to go to the console storage. Once you go to the console storage, you're gonna to wanna to go to delete. Once you go to delete, you're gonna go over to this little pencil in the three lines. From there, you click that and only delete the user data that is it now before you guys do this before you guys delete this if you have event files which is uh gold rush sleeves basketball god helmet boot camp jacket any ruffles whatever whatever events if you have files deleting this user data will delete your event files it will get rid of the splat as well so if you have the splat and you have event files and you don't want to lose your event files, I suggest not deleting the user data. You're going to have to save it out or if you find somebody else to do your events again. But just go over to delete if you have no event files or you don't mind losing your event files. Okay, after it done deletes, you can go ahead and back out of this. Now, what you can do is load up 2K21 again, okay? After you deleted the user data, uh, that's all you have to do. Load up NBA 2K21 again. Now, once you load it up, it's going to be the normal thing. All your players are going to still be there. Everything is still going to be there, all right? The user data is basically just like the settings and stuff. As you can see, all my players are still here. All my players are still here. So I'm going to hop on my stretch. And I'm going to go see if I got the splat on. Which I shouldn't because this is how you get rid of it. Alright, now that I'm in the mic court, I can show you guys that I no longer have the splat. As you can see, it is the original splash. The regular one that you get when the game first came out. So that's how you get rid of splat. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.